awesome presence is in this stadium tonight. You can not only sense the presence of God, but there's the presence of another spirit, the spirit of Miles Monroe is here in this stadium. Uh, somebody welcome him by giving him a big clap offering. <laughs> you will never know the great honor that I feel tonight to be here with all of these celebrities, Yes, for one purpose, and that is to give honor to our blessed Lord, raising up such a man of God as Dr. Miles Monroe. You can say many things about Miles, but there's one thing that supersedes everything that you can say. He was a humble apostle of Almighty God. I'm honored. I cannot put it into words. I flew all the way here from California. Now, Miles and I have been friends for over 20 years in major conferences that we conduct all over the world. Miles was our most favorite man to come and minister the Word of God. And we ministered it around the world together. It was awesome. The only thing I couldn't figure out about Miles was he loved to preach for two hours. <laughs> and then he would turn to me and I'd be on the platform and he'd say to me, Brother Srillo, is my time up? <laughs> and then the people invariably would shout, go on, go on, go on. Oh, the messages, the ministry will live on forever. I had an experience a little while ago that I'd like to share with you. It's very personal and very intimate, but it has a significant place in this memorial service. You see, Brother Srila is only 83. And this is my 63rd anniversary of ministry. I was in a partner's meeting in Chicago two years ago when I anybody here believe God speaks to people today? Yeah. No, you don't believe that. Really? Yeah. Well, I think you might be able to shout a little bit better than that. One more time. Oh, that's, that's better. I would have people come up to me and say to me, Brother School, when I was 81, why don't you retire? You're 81. You preached around the world over and over and over again. It's time to retire. Now, this is a true story. I stepped out on the platform, just a handful of my partners in a hotel. I heard You hear my voice. And it said, Son, prophets 
never retire. I went upstairs to my room after the meeting. I got on my knees before God. I wept tears. I said, God, what are you trying to say to me? He said to me, son, I do not want this ministry that I have given to you that has raised up millions of men and women of God. I don't want it ever to die. I shared this story with Miles many times. In fact, we were supposed to meet together this month to talk about legacy. I want you to know I have come all the way from California to tell you tonight that the ministry God gave to Miles Monroe will never die. It will go on fulfilling its purpose until Jesus comes. I love this man. We were deepest friends. The only thing I want to say to you in closing was we had one disagreement. You see, I live in California. He lives in the Bahamas. And he'd always tell me, Brother Cirillo, you think California is God's stepping off place to heaven? But he said, you don't know it. The Bahamas is the paradise of God. <laughs> Thank you!